Okay, so I promise that this is my very last one, but I can't resist because it's funny. The average consumer eats over 20 teaspoons of white cane sugar a day, and that's a problem because by the year 2050, one out of three of us will have type 2 diabetes, which is why I say no matter what type of sugar it is, do not eat it. I don't care if it's cane sugar, raw sugar, turbinado sugar, white sugar is processed, it's refined, it's bad for you, it also destroys your gut bacteria in addition to causing type 2 diabetes and heart disease. So what do you do? There's some really easy swaps. Coconut sugar is one of my favorite swaps. It's a one-to-one -one swap with sugar. It's got a great caramel nutty flavor, and it's a paleo sweetener. Agave nectar is paleo, and it's lower on the glycemic index, also a one-to-one -one swap. Good old honey is fantastic, too, or one of my wife's favorites. Maple syrup is great, too, low on the glycemic index, 100% natural. Bottom line, get the cane sugar out, use one of these sweeteners instead. So I'm starting this video upside down, because that's where we are now. The upside down. So according to Bobby, we're not supposed to buy white sugar because it's processed, and it's going to give you heart disease and type 2 diabetes. If you don't overconsume it, it's just fine. But instead of processed white sugar, we're supposed to buy these processed alternatives? The only difference is that one of them is regurgitated bee vomit, one of them may make your food taste like pancakes, and they have different concentrations of glucose and fructose. But they're all processed, they're all nutritionally equivalent, and they're all sugar. Oh, and they're all more expensive, too. But Bobby, you just said no matter what type of sugar it is, don't eat it. This video isn't about health because he doesn't care about that, and he isn't paying attention to your budget either. In the general scheme of things, all of these are sugar, and it's the amount you consume that's significant, not the type. And the ridiculousness of demonizing one type of affordable sugar saying it's going to cause disease, then in the next breath saying don't eat any sugar, and then proceeding to recommend a plethora of more expensive, nutritionally equivalent sugars as healthier options is completely astounding. Friends, there 